Hello everybody, this is Xenocat8253, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Final Fantasy IV The After Years. And we're still in Theodore's Challenge Dungeon, uh, taking on some Ironbacks because why not? Theodore's only missing one MP, I'm not worried about him. Uh, white magic is low right now though, which is a little sketchy. Anyway. This, the answer to our question is that this secret passage extends much further than I thought it did. Uh, we don't want to fight curls, because curls are bad. Uh, attack is not boosted, so I don't think we're going to be able to take on... Or I don't think we're going to be able to one-shot this trap chest. It's a little bit of a shame. Oh my goodness, the secret passage is here. Oh my gosh, how do I get through this? It's so, so annoying to figure out how to get through this secret passage. Okay, we found it. It's a monster in a box. That's okay. It's worth a shot. It's the same mystery egg with a Lamia inside. I just need to kill one of them directly. Of course, we're never going to kill one directly, but that's fine. We need a lot more levels to kill one directly, I think. But we get a Mithril Sword here, which is an upgrade for you. Yeah, that's a huge upgrade. Yes, please. Now we might be able to kill one directly, because it does... That band is dependent on both of their attack power. And you're not even tempted by anything else. Yeah, they've got pretty similar attack now. Now we just have to find our way back. Oh my goodness, this it, this secret passage is just so mazy. <sighs> like, I just want out. Like, I understand the maziness on the way in, but I hate the maziness on the way out. Like, that doesn't... I don't like that. Don't make this more annoying than it needs to be. See, right now the only difference in their attacks is that, you know, uh, Hooded Man gets more attack rolls per turn. Or per hit. Per attack fight command. Anyway, we're on to the basement three. Oh good, magma tortoises. Now uh, we might want to heal up. Yeah, they're looking not great. Uh, we're gonna swap rows. Oh my goodness. Kira, please. I know it's bad. I know it's not gonna do as much as I'd like, but... We need that. And you... Get rid of the magma tortoise, please. Uh... We need another Kira. You get rid of another enemy. Ugh. Oh goodness, this challenge dungeon is not fun. I mean, it, it's fun, but it's not. The enemies here are a little... Ugh. Don't like these enemies. You're not dead? I thought you'd be dead. Oh well. One more hit. A little more health than I was expecting. I kind of like the face of the moon mechanic that this game has. It's like, it's not so important that it's like impossible to get through things without having the right phase of the moon, but it's definitely helpful to have a good phase of the moon. Like new moon, not great because white magic is terrible. And you know, maybe it's nice, it's kind of nice to have white magic. I should be healing up between battles. But, you know, I'm not worried about this armadillo. And thank you for hitting Hooded Man and not, uh, Theodore. We're gonna eat a counter here, but then I think we should be able to kill the Black Wizard before we get any more. Oh 
Yeah, we're definitely heading down here. There has to be a secret passage down here. Uh, our attack is not boosted, so I'm not going to worry about doing the about mystery eggs for now. I'm just not going to fight them because the Lamias are kind of annoying. There, there has to be a secret passage here. Not there. I mean, that that's too small. I'm going to hope that there's a save point down here as well, because I'd like another place to heal and maybe not get be on this moon phase anymore. That is a secret passage. Oh, come on. There's nothing? That is like the super obvious go here. See, it has got some defense now, which is good. There is a secret passage there. There has to be. We'll head in here. Just making sure that that didn't lead anywhere. We are running low on tents, but I definitely want to camp one more time. Get me off the new moon. I like my white magic to be functional. Uh, this is, I think, black magic is boosted. Everything else is unaffected. I don't know. Like, how is there not a secret passage there? What the heck? I know there's a secret passage. I can see it. Yeah. Oh no, this is white magic boosted, which is good. This is the phase I want to be on. Ideally. Like, this is the phase I want to stay on. Because white magic being up is good. Unfortunately, we still have to deal with these things punching for lots of damage, which is not fun. Where the heck is this secret passage? I see that there's a part of this floor I can't get to, so I'm assuming there's a passage somewhere. And it would look to me... Yeah, okay. This makes sense. Okay, we can go up here, over, down, over... Secret passage. I'm gonna assume that's the only one. Okay. We got the thing. I am not going to camp because camping is... would change the moon phase and I don't really want a full moon. For any reason. I don't think there's anything I would want a full moon for. So we're gonna heal up with... Uh, some cure spells just to top top everyone off. I don't think I'll need the full MP on Theodore. I'm going to save. Yeah, let's save. We're almost done with this challenge dungeon, it looks like. Uh, there are different rewards depending on when you go through the challenge dungeon. We might actually farm some of these rewards for a bit. There is an enemy in here that we haven't seen yet. There it is. Gremlins. This is our last enemy. I can't really camp after this, but we can just heal up after this. Yeah, gremlins are new. And I don't think they have any root counters, or at least they don't have any counters that they can do because they die. They die too fast. Go away. Anyway. I have no idea what to be prepared for. I'm just gonna make sure we're full healed. And we should have- that gremlins should be the last new enemy here. I mean, we'll have to get the mystery egg, uh, thing. Which we're probably close to being able to get, but... With a- on a- on the correct moon phase, but... I might go back and save the gremlin bestiary entry. I'm gonna do that, and spend some more MP healing after doing that, because we have to get blood feasted on the way back. Because why not? Why not? I just want to make sure I have this beastier, the gremlin beastier entry, and I don't have to find it again. Just gonna save. Hooded man is full on MP, which is all I really care about, because. And Theodore has enough extra MP that we should be fine.
yeah. Let's take on this boss. And things might go a bit bad, but we're gonna try. First of all, we are going to use a spider silk. Then we're gonna cross slash. Slow you down. Start dealing big damage. That's not good. Now we might want to protect, actually. White magic is boosted right now, which is good for me. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Go away. This is why I'm cross-slashing you. Boom, 1,300 damage. Uh, let's protect both of us. You just attack. You can get that in there. You're taking da It's taking damage. Yeah, I don't like that. This is why we protected. And that still wasn't enough. What the heck? I don't like this. Save yourself. We need that. I'm hoping he starts backing off. I need to get him up, though. I need to get Hooded Man up. Hooded Man will pummel. Hooded Man, start pummeling. We're gonna heal. Because healing is important. Yes. I understand. Cross slash. It retreats all the way back. That's okay. I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, cross slash I don't think gets affected that much by this. Yeah, cross slash doesn't get affected. Uh, that's a little rude. And we're dealing a bunch of, we've done a bunch of damage. White magic being boosted is helping a lot, I have to say. Uh, yeah, let's cure you again. Ow. Another cross slash. We'll, we need another Kira on, uh, Theodore. Soon. Just do another cross slash. Because it's really powerful. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Theodore might go down. Yeah, Theodore's down, which is not good. I know! Do that. We do have some potions if I need to if it gets to that. You attack, because it is getting less defense as it gets closer. We'll probably Cura again. More protect. Oh my gosh, you're rude! Rude! Stop killing him! He needs to be alive! I'm not sure Hooded Man can survive two punches. Yeah, no. That is a wipe. Because... Oh my goodness, the rudeness. Rude! I need to get Protects up earlier, I think. I think we just need more Protect. I think we can get... If I stack Protect earlier, I think that'll be okay. I'm not going to worry about being at max HP. I'm going to do less cross slashing. I think. I do want to toss uh, Spider Silk. Yeah, you drink a potion. Or whatever. Just heal yourself back up a bit. Potions are expendable. Protect and fight. I'm going to do some protecting. Because you're only using physical damage anyway. We're going to use some more, some more a bunch of stacks and protects. Yeah, because protect is helping. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do this. Stay alive. I can, I'm pretty sure Protect stacks with itself. So if I cast it a whole bunch of times, he'll stop taking, he'll stop doing as much damage. And you know, once he gets really close, we can lay in on him. Yeah, 300 is getting better. I might want to cure up. I'm going to cure you. Because I have the MP for it. Like, Theodore's got plenty of MP. Let's go in here with White Magic Boosted. I mean, White Magic Boosted is clearly the way to go, I think. Keep stacking Protect for now. Yep, I know he's going to be hitting very hard. That's the worst possible outcome. Seriously. Can you not pummel the one person over and over? Because now I need to get Protect back up on him. Just toss an X Potion. I don't care. Just, I need him healed. This is the time to attack. A whole bunch and just start dealing damage. Since he's vulnerable at this point. I will need to get Protect back up, but for now, we can beat him. We can beat on him for lots of damage around. Let's get another Protect going, because he's moving back. I can cross slash him while he's in the back, and that'll be okay. Let's do a cross slash, because I got the time. Cut off another thousand hit points. Yeah, heal. Cross slash once Theodore's turn is ready. Now that's a little bit bad, but fine. I'm gonna whittle him down. Uh, let's stack another protect. You just go for a regular attack because it won't really delay you anything. Yeah, you're getting closer, which is not what I want. Uh, I need to get more protects up, and I think. Yeah, we're gonna protect and toss a high potion. I'm getting a little low on high pots on, high po on these potions, though. Uh, you're getting vulnerable now. Although I should be healing. I'll heal Theodore next. Yeah, let's do another 600 something, da like 700 damage ish. Cure yourself, please. Protect yourself with hit points. And the golem is down! Oh my goodness. We are done. We beat the big boss of. The challenge dungeon. And we get a flan ring. And we get warped out. Strong against flans. That's cool. Um Yeah, that's basically it. That's a reward. No magic defense at all. I don't even know if I want to equip that. Gosh dang it. Uh, that, though, is essentially the challenge engine. There are other rewards you can get from it, which I will go over really quickly. Um, from the final treasure, you can also get anything of the mithril set. An elixir, axe potion, a soma drop, silver apple, a lustful lally ho, and adamantite. Which I think is a special item. Which I might have to go see if I can't get, but we'll look into that later.
Oh, we can also be dropped by the golem. That's cool. It doesn't seem like it's a useful item. I don't know. And then uh, once you get all of the general items from it... So there's a lot of specific items you can get from that final treasure. But once you're done with all the specific items you can get, uh, it will start dropping random consumable items. I might grind this challenge dungeon off screen a bit, but I'm not going to do it on screen if I do. We've seen every enemy, we have seen everything there is to see in Theodore's Tale. Next time we will be back with a different tale. See you then.